Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Rohde and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rock Star. <laughs> We're continuing here on our adventure of learning all about the track. It's all coming back to me now. Written by Jim Steinman. And so, give us a little bit more background here. I did Pandora's Box first, which I believe was the first released recording of the track. Then we did Celine Dion, who of course is the most famous version. And now we're on to Meatloaf. So here was the situation from what I read on Wikipedia earlier today. Jim Steinman felt the song should really be sung by or performed by a woman. And Meatloaf really thought it should be a duet. They argued about it. It was going to be a song possibly then for Bad Out of Two, Bad Out of Hell 2, then maybe Bad Out of Hell 3. And the situation became even a legal matter at one point I was reading. So there was a whole bunch of hubbub going on, but it was performed by a woman, Celine Dion. It was a huge hit. And here it was performed as a duet. I've never seen Meatloaf perform this. I'm eager to check it out. I'm a big Meatloaf fan. I think most roadies are. He was in a movie called Roadie. <laughs> and he was a really good guy. So when he passed away, there was a lot of sad stuff going on amongst the roadie community. We all liked this guy. We really did. So let's jump into this and see how Meatloaf did singing this Jim Steinman song. Not his first time doing so, right? If we don't know Jim Steinman, by the way, Jim Steinman wrote a song for Air Supply. He wrote Total Eclipse of the Heart. He wrote one of my favorite. I love Sisters of Mercy. He wrote a song called More. He did all of the stuff for Meat Love, Bad Out of Hell 1 and 2. He's an awesome cat. Let's jump into this. Let's do it. the window There were days when the sun was so cool That all the tears turned to dust and I just knew my eyes were drying up forever I finished crying in the instant that you left And I can't remember
Those 30 seconds, I don't know. I think it's just an outro of nothing. I think Meatloaf waited a lot of years to be able to hit an absolute grand slam. Boy, he's so, so good. And she, too, this lady, Marion Raven. She is wonderful. I really liked her. Um, I just, I'm just like shocked. It was so, so very good. What are you guys thinking? Pandora's box, Celine Dion. Famous version to this. Yep, oh, it's over. I mean, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. I have to do a little look. I'm intrigued to see if Jim Steinman was still alive when Meatloaf released this video. I don't know. I'll put the information above, though, because I'll look it up as soon as this is done. I'm like at the edge of my chair to know. But who was right, you know? Should it be a duet or should it just been sung by a lady? As soon as Meatloaf opened his mouth, I was... I was just spellbound. I'm like, nope, good decision. <laughs> so, ah, now's the last section here of my little tour today. How did Tommy Johansson do with this? And I mean, this is a monumental track to, to do a cover of. So I'm intrigued. Let's see what Tommy did. I hope you guys want to jump in with that one with me too. And we can check it out together. Thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.